The proportional editing tool in Blender, which many don't use, is in the top shelf near the snap, and you can turn it on from there or by using the O key as a shortcut in both object mode and edit mode, so it runs in both modes with a slight difference. With this tool, you can do normal transformation like move, rotate, and scale with an area of effect, which is this circle showing on screen, and you can adjust this area with your mouse wheel to increase the effect or narrow it down. You can also experiment with many types inside based on the shape you want to make, so go through them if you want. But the smooth one is the norm to use in most cases. We can also do the same thing in edit mode, like selecting a vertex and moving it to reshape a ball into different thing, and if you pull it with the types, you can get some nice different results. If those cubes we worked on before are one object, using proportional editing on any vertex will affect the entire object with all the cubes in it. However, if we checked the connected only option in here, it will only affect the connected vertices or faces you want to edit. The other option under it is the projected from view, which means your editing will affect your entire view line and not just the vertex you selected, which is the default if you keep it off. You can also do some landscaping with it, like adding a plane with subdivisions, then selecting vertices to make bumps on it, something you can do with sculpting, which is why I think not many people use this, because Blender usually give many tools the same function. Keep in mind that proportional editing works on object's origin. Thus, if I have an array of cylinders and want to proportionally scale them up from inside out, I need to separate the objects and make sure all origins are set to geometry. Then with individual pivot transforms, I can scale them each on its origin with the proportional editing on and get something like this, which is fun, but also can be done with shape keys too. So go with whatever you like. See you in another time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.